The MP Advanced Dynamic ROM Wrist Orthosis, part of the MP family of dynamic splinting devices, applies a low load, progressive stretch to the wrist to help increase a patient's range of motion. The instructions in this video are designed to help ensure that patients receive the maximum possible benefit from their range of motion therapy. After you remove the device from its carton, check the labels on the inside strut to make sure you have the correct unit. Then review the features of the advanced wrist orthosis. The instruction manual features a diagram that explains the components and performance benefits of the device. At the initial fitting, unfasten or loosen the adjustment straps on the cuffs. Then check the tension control indicator and make sure it is set at zero. Next, lock the device in a neutral or resting position close to the patient's current wrist angle. The locking mechanism on the orthosis is designed for easy application and removal of the device and can be engaged in five degree increments throughout the patient's range of motion. To secure the lock, simply depress the lock lever while placing a slight amount of force on the strut until the lever rotates and locks down into the desired angle. Then rotate the lock lever safety until it engages beneath the lock lever. This will keep the lock lever secure. With the device locked, you may apply the orthosis to the patient's wrist and forearm by sliding their hand through the molded cuffs. For extension treatment, the palm should rest on top of the palm bar. For flexion treatment, the palm bar should rest on the dorsal knuckles. Align the device so the center of the tension spring cover lines up with the joint axis of the wrist. Then align the struts by following the long bones of the arm. The orthosis features a unique strut length adjustment capability to assure a comfortable fit. Depress the leaf pin on the strut and increase or decrease the length as needed. Note that extending the strut length beyond the last adjustment hole may cause the leaf pin to fall out of the strut. If this happens, reinsert the leaf pin into the housing and reconnect the two struts. The strut should be adjusted so that the proximal cuff does not restrict elbow motion. Next, adjust the palm bar for comfort and support by depressing the leaf pin. Then lengthen or shorten the bar as needed. After you've properly adjusted the struts, shape and mold the bendable contour cuffs to the patient's limb to assure a snug yet comfortable fit. The unique contour cuffs are made of an aluminum insert and rubberized coating that enable you to bend and twist the cuffs easily. The blue memory foam pads, which are attached to the cuffs by Velcro, may also be repositioned or even trimmed and sized to maximize fit and comfort. Once you've adjusted and positioned the orthosis on the patient's arm, you need to secure the straps. If you removed the straps during the initial fitting, Reattach them by locating the buckle on the leading edge of the cuff so that the straps are pulled across the open ends of the cuffs. The straps should be snug enough to allow one finger to be inserted between the strap and the skin. When the device is secure and the patient is comfortable, check for any neurological or vascular changes. The patient should not experience any numbness or tingling while wearing the orthosis. When you adjust the tension, make sure that the lock lever and safety are in the locked position. Then check the tension indicator window to verify that it's set at the correct current tension level. The numbers appearing in the indicator window start at zero and increase to 10, with each number representing an increased level of torque. At the initial fitting, set the tension level at a very mild pressure that is comfortable for the patient and instruct the patient to wear the orthosis for one to two hours. Monitor the patient to determine their tolerance to the device. If the patient cannot tolerate the initial tension setting and wear time, 
a physician or therapist needs to reevaluate the patient. If the patient can comfortably wear the device during this initial period, their treatment time can be increased. To increase or decrease the torque, flip the tension control lever away from the tension spring cover and turn the lever in the desired direction. It's very important not to over-tighten or over-loosen the tension spring. Either action can damage the mechanism. A solid red bar in the tension indicator window before zero or after 10 is a warning signal that you've turned the lever too far in either direction. With the straps secure, the next step is to place the device into dynamic mode. Disengage the lock lever safety by swinging it away from the lock lever. Then apply a slight force on the strut to disengage the lock lever. The advanced orthosis now provides a dynamic stress on the wrist. Ideally, the patient should progress to the maximum wear time set by a physician or skilled therapist while at rest or sleep and in compliance with the following post-wear criteria. Soreness is defined as any mild discomfort in or around the treated area. The decision to increase wear time should be based on patient tolerance and may be accomplished over a few days or longer if necessary. Once a patient has achieved their wear time goal, a steady increase in tension on the device may be required to achieve the patient's range of motion goals. If there is minimal soreness and no range of motion gains have been measured, then tension should probably be increased. Increase the tension gradually, no more than one increment per evaluation. Also, make sure the patient is maintaining the required wear time per day and adhering to the post-wear criteria for soreness. Once the patient has reached their wear time limit, remove the advanced wrist orthosis. Lock the device into position at the patient's current end range. Secure the safety. Unfasten or loosen the adjustment straps. Then remove the arm from the device. The MP Advanced Dynamic ROM Wrist Orthosis is designed for a custom fit and comfort. By following the fitting instructions on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll help ensure that patients receive the maximum possible benefit for their range of motion therapy.